Right, we're just here today to do a little test on a unique product. This product is Thermal Coat. And what is unique about this product, as you probably can see, is it's the thin application. This is a product that is a thermal product called Thermal Coat. And conventionally, thermal products have to be thick uh, for their thermal quality. But what you can see is unique about this product is we've got less than a few mil sprayed application of this product. And what Thermal Coat is doing is making a huge paradigm shift in your thinking around uh, thermal products because now it doesn't have to be thick to be thermal. And what we're going to demonstrate today is its thermal quality. You can look at U values and uh, and to a lot of uh, us laymen at times U values yes they mean something uh, and they are important but this this little demonstration is going to really give the impact of the thermal quality of this product it's a very thin application and therefore it's very light application no cavities required sprayed onto any substrate from glass, perspex, polycarbonate, plastic, metal, walls, ceilings, floors. That's what's really great about the product as well. I'm not going to go into any details about the product specifications. I just want to show its applications and, and to demonstrate its extreme thermal qualities. So what we're going to do today is pretty unique. Uh, we're going to, first of all, you can see I'm in a domestic situation and I've got a naked flame there. So I'm going to put the frying pan on there. And what we've got here is a frying pan with one half sprayed and the other half not sprayed. And I've got some ice. I've got some oil. And the next surprise will come in a minute. So the first thing I want to do is let that frying pan heat up. And to demonstrate this, I'm going to put some ice on this side. Now as you probably gathered, I don't want to be touching that side. But the other quality about this product is it's a natural fire retardant. And uh, so you've got no, if there's ever a fire, you've got no fumes come in, it won't burn. As you can see, it's not even melting. That is direct naked heat under there. There's the ice. And just in case you think I'm using some sort of uh, other product, I think you could see the ice is sizzling away. It's melting very rapidly. And yet there's nothing happening there. And there's my fingers on there. I certainly don't want to be putting my fingers on there. But that's not we're going to do something a little bit different rather than just demonstrating ice melts on one side and doesn't melt on the other which is conclusive enough as you can see that's now water sizzling water as you can see but I'm drying it off because I'm wanting to introduce oil and you'll get the reason why so here we are ice sat there put a little bit more in And the only reason why the ice is slightly melting is because the heat's coming across the pan. But there is no direct heat coming from there. So we're going to put some oil in the pan. And we're going to, if I'm, my skills are there, an egg without a broken yolk. And I think you can hear the sound effects. <laughs> 